Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. It's Thursday morning, and it's cold. <laughs> it is. It's chilly in here. It got yeah. it got down to the 30s last night, which is kind of chilly for us. Yeah. I know it's snowing in some parts of the country right now too. Uh, so we, if we got like that, we wouldn't be able to work out here. Well, we would. We would just have to have much better heating. And maybe some snow suits and snow boots. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't make it in snow. No. We wouldn't do well in it. We would not. Uh, it is Thursday. We had um, we had some pretty good sales yesterday, which I was glad to see because we had like a day in between where they weren't like crazy strong. It was yeah. still good. The the amount was good, but just not a lot of items. Yeah. Um, last night or between yesterday and today, we sold um, fifteen items. Now remember, we did pull some stuff in the last video that normally we would have shipped today. But um, we're and, trying to pull them as they come in before the carrier picks up. And we're going to do the same thing today. We're going to mm -hmm. pull some stuff that sold this morning. Yes, so. yes. Y usually, we, usually we make everybody wait a day, like till the next day. But, right. but we're not going to do that. No, Mine not, not with the mail and the holidays and everything. Yeah. So I guess we better go ahead and get started. Yeah, let's go. Okay. The first item is a book on Three Delta, Rise of the Cajun Mariners. Three Delta. Move the light. And this book right here. This is one of the books we got from uh, Kevin and Danielle. Yeah. That was in a buy we did from them. Um, and we sold it for $26.24. Okay. Um, sold that Lancome beauty box set on Nine Charlie that we just picked up. Yeah, we picked this up at an estate sale preview we went to on Monday. Yes. For $10. Yes, and it sold for $79.99. Okay, good. Um, we sold three of those buyer's choice carolers. Someone reached out to us and um, offered 20 each if we if they bought three and we took it. Um, so they're all on five, Charlie. It's the three um, with the red holding books. A woman, a boy, and a girl. Okay. Let me just grab this one and this one and I'll get the... Get the lady. Get the lady here. <laughs> that's, that's definitely her kids yeah they yeah. all look alike they all have the same mouth they are cool looking together aren't they like well not really cool but yeah it's too bad somebody bought the uh man and split them up yeah hmm. yeah um yeah so 20 dollars each plus shipping for those he went out for cigarettes <laughs> he'll be back in a minute oh my gosh <laughs> we sold a comic lot uh number 62. here we go com 62. got my bob got really got my brown boxes going on over here don't i yeah you do <laughs> between dog clothes and comics and a junk drawer lot yeah um, so those sold for twenty six dollars and ninety nine cents. It's a lot of forty three. Yeah, that this lot wasn't quite. I priced it lower than some of the other ones because it was more mishmash, not as much quantity, and probably yeah. not quite as good. Yeah. Um, Jimmy Swagger Bible on three Bravo. Yeah, we just got this. We got this at the same estate sale preview. Uh, three Bravo. And we paid four dollars for it. And it sold for forty dollars and forty nine cents. Also from that estate sale by um, Congress Hummingbird card set on six Bravo. Okay. Yeah, right here. This is cool. It wasn't real va super valuable or anything, but it's still neat. Yep. Um, seventeen dollars and ninety nine cents for those. Paid four for this also. That was kind of her number on a lot of stuff. Was four. Yeah, the stuff that wasn't priced or were those priced already? They were priced. Yeah. Okay. Um, we saw a German beer stein on one Charlie. I don't know how many's down there. If I need to help you. One. Well, there's. It's actually right here. Okay. It's not the. Uh, I know what you're talking about. It's not the ones that were down there. Man, this sucker is huge. That's why 
why that one got put there. It's 13 and a half inches tall. Oh, God. <laughs> somebody's going to be, that'll hold a lot of beer for somebody. Uh, $29.99. Man. Yeah. Okay. It's cool, huh? It's cool. That, that's a good deal for a stein that big. Yep. And the Boba Fett drawer, a little brass whale I just listed yesterday, a little paperweight. You just now listed that? Yeah, yesterday. $9.99. Yeah, little guy. Uh, we sold another Vatican Nativity part piece animal donkey. Are you giving us like a, are you, are you keyword spamming us? <laughs> you don't have to do that on the video. Which, a donkey? Donkey. Yeah, those don't really slide out. So. It's okay, I got it. Yeah, you can't slide them around. You have to pick them up. All right, donkey. Here you go, you want to take it? $29.99 for this. Okay. All right, well, we're slowly making our way through the stuff. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. I think that's the fourth. I think so. Fourth yeah. one we've sold. Yeah. We sold a um, Disney Mickey Mouse Happy Birthday Cake Hat on Four Charlie. I remember when we bought that. Oh, it's right here. There we go. This thing's pretty cool. Yeah. I remember when we bought that. I just don't remember how much we paid. Uh, no more than a few bucks and sold for uh, $24.99 like the, it lights up. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I think you put a, um, in the listing you put like the uh, you put a little video showing it light yeah, up. Yeah, I did um, Another Jimmy Swagger item or items 10 Alpha SW2 Swagger book lot six books 10 Alpha Yeah SW2. You know what? A lot of these aren't lit. I mean, I don't even know how I did these. I don't either. <laughs> I don't think these are listed. These right here are not listed. I think the ones I want. It says hardcover. Yeah, I'm going to have to. A lot of six. What did I do here? I got to figure this out. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to do that last. Yep, so um, we have a we sold a reel to reel tape, Chicago 3, okay. 10 Alpha. Oh, it's up there too. <laughs> yep. I'm, I'm going to go up here after I get this other stuff packed. I'm going to figure it out. I think, man, I really don't know. I Wait, where are those? You know what? I think there's, oh, I know what it is. If y'all look, there's boxes behind these books so i'm gonna have to i know what happened we had a bunch of stuff come in i hadn't listed this stuff yet the stuff i did list is behind there so i threw them up here to get them off the bench that's what happened okay i remember now but i only excavate those the ones i need after i pack the, this other stuff okay which one do I, am i looking for three it sold for $22.49. Chicago. Here we go. This is it. Chicago 3. This looks like it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then we have one more thing in storage, and we have to get uh, those books down here in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and pack this, and I'll be back. All right. I got all that stuff packed, and then I did manage to excavate this book lot uh, i do have to put a little padding in there because the books are just dropped in the box but i will be shipping in this box and then uh after we get that packed we're going to storage to pick up um pick up the last order that's going to go out today so i want to mention because i just printed the label for these uh books and um the media mail label would have been 1070 something the ground advantage cubic rate was seven something it was it was like a two two dollars and ninety cents cheaper to buy ground advantage and at that point uh, that is a higher class of service it's going to uh it says 0.30 cubic zone five 
So keep that in mind. It, like in the past, media mail was never cheaper. Um, the, the only time media mail would be cheaper would be if, uh, or not, not media mail would not be cheaper in the past is if sometimes if you shipped, uh, like maybe 25, 30 pounds of books, UPS ground could be cheaper or maybe FedEx ground, but not, um, not a higher class of service within USPS. So be sure you're checking those rates. Okay, we ran storage real quick um, to grab our final item, our sale of the day. This, uh, man, this is one of the bigger nutcrackers we have for it sure. It is, and he's, you can't tell, but he holds a big tray with a gingerbread house on it. That's, yeah. It's also like under the gingerbread house, there's a place to put like incense. It's, for it to smoke out of the chimney yeah and the tray is so big that there's like wooden dowel supports that come down to help him hold it up it's a massive thing when it's put together it's 19 inches tall and um it's pretty heavy and we sold it for 200 dollars plus ship okay well good deal i'll go ahead and get this guy packed and uh we went and picked up a few more things to list we're going to try and list through all that stuff over there yeah we have some good clothing that we uh so we really need to get that cleared off right we have some good clothing and storage we want to work on so. and that's really our clothing listing spot yeah. over there yeah so we're, we're slowly battling back from our huge influx of inventory uh listing our way through it yeah like how many times have we had to list our way out of trouble <laughs> i know it happens and it's a good thing it is all right let me get this guy shipped all right it is later it's much later actually it's uh 9 20 at night candace planning garage so are we married yet <laughs> are we because i'm tired <laughs> <laughs> candace had a christmas party girl scout christmas party yeah today. we had our little troop christmas party tonight um yeah so we're hopefully going to sales in the morning so we're going to go ahead and pull some orders tonight and get those packed up it's been a good sales day we, our biggest order is a nutcracker not going to pull that till tomorrow though yeah um but yeah we sold a 250 dollars cracker plus everything we pull now right uh first thing is a lot of 78 mato gras doubloons on four bravo yeah i just listed those the other day Was it yesterday? I don't know. I don't know. It's a cool lot though. Yeah. Um, and those sold for sixteen dollars and nineteen cents. Was that an auction? No, seventeen ninety nine, ten percent off. Oh. <laughs> uh, next item is in the chest drawer, Lufkin um, measuring tape. Now, if Candace would have listed that those doubloons and and then I would have sent ten percent off for the same day, she would have been mad. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand putting something on sale the day you list it. I like to sell it. All right, what am I looking for? A measuring tape and a blue box. Got it. That sold for nineteen ninety nine. Okay. CC seven, a New Orleans Saints Crown Royal bag. There should be three there. They're, they only bought one. Okay. Let's see. It's one of the Saints ones, huh? Yeah, it looks like a football on one side. It does. Yeah. These are cool, and we we have actually sold these before. This might be like the fourth one we've sold or something. We've sold these before for up to $50. It makes that nice little gift wrap for Crown Royal you're giving a Saints fan. It really does, yeah. except it's kind of pricey. $37.49. Yeah, that's a good sale. Three Bravo cooking with love. Good genetic on the money. <laughs> Three Bravo cooking with love, huh? Let's see. Genetic on the money. Well, wait. So you you didn't say cooking with Louisiana Baptist, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe probably not quite as much fun. Let's see. Cooking. Ah, oh, here we go. All right. Cooking with love. Cook. Okay, now hang on. I'm going to let Candace do it again. Go ahead, do it again. Put your dad at Corner Marty. There you go. Did, Man, that How thing, did you do that without moving your hands? That thing, I know, it's <laughs> cold. That thing has some good Italian recipes in it. Almost, I was like, maybe I need to keep this one. Look how dirty it is. You can tell they use it a lot. That's how you know a cookbook is good when it's got food all over it. <laughs> 
Oh, look, this has a uh, little note in here. It says Italian supper. And then yeah. it lists a bunch of, uh, I guess. Oh, look at that. They're planned, they, they, they planned a, a whole meal. Yep. Probably with recipes out of that book. That sold for $11.99. We sold a jigsaw puzzle on five delta right. It's a catnap. Oh, five delta right. I'm over here. Is it that big? No, that's a D-link. That's some kind of wireless thing. It's not in there. Oh. Is it maybe on the wrong shelf? No. Five delta right? Yeah, but I don't see it. We don't have it. Yeah. Or it's not on that shelf anyway. At least but I don't see it. Always look below if you don't see it. And I don't see it down there either. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Um, Alright, y'all. I'm still trying to excavate this thing, but I think I might have found it. Maybe. What is this called? Oh man, is that a dog napping? What's it? Oh, waiting for our humans. That's not it. Oh man. Oh, yeah. Candace found, found it. it. Thank goodness. And there's only two shelves below. Okay. Um, so let's see what that sold for eleven dollars and twenty four cents. All right, the next order has three things: pocket one seventeen, a nurse brooch. One seventeen. Yep, you just listed this today, I think. Yesterday. And a Walmart pen, W two seventy. Okay. Well, we haven't sold. It's been a little while since we sold an actual Walmart pen. Yeah. This is, uh, has sunflowers and says happy birthday. Okay. So 270, right? Correct. Yeah, I think I found it. Yep, got it. And then on Five Echo, Sneezy. Oh, he, man, he's been here forever. I'm telling like, he has been in here. Well, he's probably been in here for a year, huh? I think so. Oh, we have more than one. We did, yeah. So we must have sold, the, sold the other one. I hope so. Um, So those three things together sold for $34.22. And I just saw that that order has another item. CC6 okay. dog hoodie. I just listed the mic. CC6. Green, uh, like a heather green hoodie. On CC6? Yeah. It's in a okay, I got it. I think. Is that it? Yep. It says ready on it? Yep. $11.99. Okay, so all that stuff on one order. All right, next item is a card. One Delta U102. So one Delta. <laughs> we have a uh, we actually have an issue with some of our card listings I've been I've been like ignoring it but um, I think we have like supposedly 60 something listings that have item requirements uh, so not they, done they may not even be showing up in search something they changed or something which one is it 102 ah got it have to find me a uh, Brad, top loader. Bradley Anae or something. Bradley Anae. It's an auto card. Yeah. I'll have to find a uh, top loader. Yeah. It, it that kind. I have plenty of them here, but uh, I don't. Th th this kind is a little thicker. You can't use a regular top loader. Uh -uh. So I'll probably have to rob one of the ones that other ones I have. That's all for seven dollars and ninety nine cents. Let me go put this back. All right, Candace told me to get down the closed B box, so I did. B1, Boy Scouts of America uniform pants. Let's see. That's a wool something. It's probably going to be fairly small. Yeah, that's it. Convertible pants. Are they kind of with like the zip off legs or yes. whatever? $26.99 for those. Okay, so that's everything we've got going out. Plus, 
A cracker. A cracker that we got to pull tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff packed. If anything else sells while I'm packing this, then we'll come back and pull that too. Okay, we did not sell anything else while I was packing this. However, we did remember we had a Mercari order when Candace was still in here and forgot to pull it. So I came back out, but the way the way that she asked me, I thought was pretty funny. Uh, her older daughter, Sarah, was in the room. I walk in, Candace goes, did you pull the poodle? <laughs> and uh, it's, our, our older daughter, Sarah, was just looking like, what? <laughs> I think pulling the poodle is, uh, it sounds kind of like a an expression, right? So anyway, I am going to pull the poodle. Um... 90 wait did it say 95 no 35 i want to pocket 35 to pull our poodle i think it must be on this side i'm hoping yep here it is right here this is a um dawn what, what's her name topper dawn um uh, pet poodle that sold for Eleven ninety nine plus shipping on top, or no, actually, it sold on Macari for twelve plus ship. So I'm gonna get that little poodle packed, and we will see y'all in the morning. All right, it is the next day. Good morning, everyone. Sort of. It's not morning though. It's twelve thirty. Good afternoon. <laughs> um, yeah, we did go out to sales this morning. It was rainy the first couple hours, so we were like, "Ooh, this may not work out." People are not gonna have their sales, but they were still having them. Just pulled stuff in under cover. And um, we did pick up some things. Um, we're going to show you all that. But we got first, some weird stuff, man. We did. Um, first, we do have, we pulled orders last night, as you remember, but we do have one order that was in storage we had to go get. Um, a cracker. Made Mary in here. And uh, she has to go out today. So we're going to go ahead and get her packed. She sold for uh, $249.99. Now we did, as you can see, there's another cracker there, but we're going to go ahead and make sure we get her packed before the carrier gets here. Okay, got that guy. No, that was a girl. Ma made Marion. Got that girl packed. And um, everything's ready to go. Now we're going with stuff that sold today. today. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get those uh, packed up, especially since we're going into a weekend. Um, the first one is another nutcracker we had in storage. Um, it's one of the Wiseman Melchior. He sold for $199.99. Some uh, high dollar crackers selling. Yeah. Um, and as a matter of fact, in storage, all we have left is uh, two, right? Yeah, this guy, his... Well, I'm not going to take him out anymore. I am going to put a little bit more paper in there just to make sure he didn't move. Yeah. And then what, we, what I usually do is I just pack with paper to make, to make sure there's no movement. And then we'll take our... Um, Shrink wrap. We'll take our shrink wrap and go around it a few times to close the box up without damaging it at all. Yep. Um, and what, what is what is the other one I'm getting? Um, so there's one on the shelf that's sold on Etsy. Okay. Um, it's on 12 Delta. It's an organ grinder. He's got the little 12 organ. Delta. Uh, not, yeah, 12 Delta. No, there's know. no there's no nutcrackers on 12 yeah, Delta. We moved it to um, 10. It's on. I saw it. It's on five Charlie. Okay. What he's an organ grinder? Yes. I looked. Oh, here he is right here. Right in front of me right in front of me face. Yeah, it's got a little uh like doll figure on top of yeah, it. Yeah, it dances, right? I don't think that one does. Oh, we have one that did. It was the piano, the nutcracker. Oh, piano. Tchaikovsky. Yeah, um, that one does play like when you turn his little. Um, Look how dusty his head is. I know. Turn his head. crank. Um, he sold for nine ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Oh, by the way, I did um, I did pull my poodle last night. Oh, good. Okay. Did he tell y'all? <laughs> our daughter. You talking about that part? Yeah, where where I walk in, and can and our daughter's in there, and Candace. Candace goes, did you pull no, the poodle? No, this is how it happened. I'm sitting in front of her, and Lonnie walks in. At the same time, our older daughter, our 21-year-old, walks from another room. Like, they, they were coming towards each other, and I said, Lonnie, are you going to pull the poodle? And yeah, that's right. She was walking, and she's like... <laughs> 
<laughs> she was like, what are y'all talking about? And do I need to be here in this? <laughs> it was funny. How much this guy sell for? $99.99. Well, shoot. We sold two, two fifty, four fifty. It's $550 in nutcrackers yeah. and those three crackers. And we have one more thing on eBay. I'm going to go back to eBay. Um, okay. Yeah. We sold a, an oyster shell. Where's that at? For $35. Nine Delta. Oh, I was expecting it to be on... That's usually the kind of thing we put on six. Well, six was kind of full there for a while. Said so nine Delta? Yeah. Yep, this guy right here. I mean, we went back and forth with several people. Yeah, all of a sudden it just got popular. Like in the last few days, we kept getting offers on it's it. It's so cool. Yeah. They're going to be happy with it because it, the it, pictures don't really do it justice. It doesn't. I mean, it, it's bigger than you could imagine. It's like... It's the, neat. So I don't... I, yeah. I like it for... Some, and I love the... I love just the, the green patina on it. Do you really? It. Yeah, it's, I do. It's called corrosion. I know, but I, I think it adds to the look of it. Okay. In my opinion. Yeah. Um, is there an oyster under this, or is it just all brass? It's all brass, right? Is that like, a dumb question? Are you asking me if that's a brass-covered oyster? Shell? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. I don't even know if that's possible. I don't. I don't. You know how they do? You know how they bronze shoes, baby shoes? Well, they in the I know in the '80s that was a fad where they would do like um, leaps. Yeah. Like the like off a tree, a leaf off a tree. Right, but and that, make necklaces and stuff. that's not what happened here. Though. I doubt it. Okay. So we ended up selling that for thirty. Years. Okay. Do you remember what you paid for it? Just a couple of bucks. That came from the same sale where we got the brass um, mail slot, mail oh. slot things. Yeah. And okay. we bought some other brass there too. Okay. Yeah. We 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 kind of we're kind of suckers for the brass. Yeah, we like shiny things. I don't know. I don't know. The problem with brass though, there's like a lot of vintage brass out there, and then there's a lot of looks vintage brass out there <laughs> it's really hard to tell the difference and i don't guess it much matters it really doesn't i mean if somebody likes brass and if they, somebody likes it they like it right i think the main thing is it needs to be something unique right you know yeah so, and that definitely is okay i'm gonna go ahead and try and get this stuff packed and out of here yeah okay we have one more everything else is packed and ready for pickup it's uh 253 and carrier is still not here yet so she's busy <laughs> which is good i like that sometimes um this is 93 conan um pre-production sheets proof sheets whatever you want to call them uh, along with a letter from the syndicate to to the uh comic editor talking about a um correction and the date to publish some comic strip or something like that so this buyer they bought first i think they bought a couple of lots from us or maybe one lot and then they mess messaged us made an offer for the rest of them uh for twenty dollars per lot when we were selling them for 25 which we did we did that they received them uh also said they would be interested if we had more and we did have more so i dug up the other ones we had uh there are 93 of them in there that package is ready to roll um we we settled on a price of 300 shipped for these 93 so that ended up working out very well uh hopefully for both of us he seemed very happy we're definitely very happy because we made <sighs> just from him we had sales of uh four right? four eighty yeah. four and now now this one we did free shipping on it was like right. nine i think it's nine dollars to ship that yeah because i chose to go priority because of the value but uh over 400 uh profit probably yeah after fees and packages. and then we have sold some other lots to other people too so the conan stuff has done very well yeah now we still have and I could swear we have more somewhere. We, we might. I, you know. I told them. I told them if we find I know more. Yeah, we do. Because I had more of the big ones. Well, yeah, we do have them somewhere. They're somewhere here. They're yeah. probably right under here no, somewhere. No, I don't think they are. <laughs> we, I don't know what I did. We got to get our stuff together. But uh, yeah, let me get this thing out. That is the end of uh, shipping for today, though. Okay, what a weird day. It's always a weird day for me whenever we start 
the day on a Friday with sourcing because I I have it was a, a really weird sourcing morning. I have a problem with sourcing in that whenever we're sourcing, I I don't feel like historically I've not looked at sourcing as work. I've looked at it as like recreation. And so I, we don't let that detract I, from our work hours, and that's a problem. I know. I feel guilty though. Whenever we're outsourcing, I feel guilty that we're not listing. Like we got back at what, like twelve thirty, and um, like if if we were to stop working like at six, it'd be like, oh, we only worked five and a half hours today. But no, we were out all morning. That's just yeah. That's I've always had to deal with that. But yeah, yeah sourcing is work. Sourcing is work. I keep telling myself that <laughs> because it is. Because it does make me tired. It does take time away from other activities. But I always feel like I have to make up for it later, and I don't. It's, it's kind of like it's kind of like if you're a stripper. <laughs> and I enjoy taking my clothes off. No, you're dancing. It's not work. You're just dancing all night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's like the worst analogy ever. <laughs> uh, but this this is the first sale we went to, and we bought a pretty good bit of stuff. Um, so um, everything we're about to show you was one sale. And we spent a hundred dollars exactly. Yeah, we so, did. Um, these are Anchor Hawking um, Disney character um, canisters. canisters. <laughs> Could be the word. I think they go for um, probably about twenty twenty five for a pair. So I don't know how we're gonna. Uh, sell we might them. sell them all together or, or sell. Se yeah, I don't know. Two at a time. I don't want to sell one at a time. Yeah. Um, Candace so saw this at the checkout. Yeah, I don't know if they're anything or not, but for a couple of bucks, we got these 90s uh, Marvel cards here. There's a chance they're worth something. Yeah. So um, There that, is. Some that. of those from back then, can. there are some that are like very good from back then. Yeah. Most of them are probably not. Um... This is this, my this is my favorite thing of the day. Lonnie loves this thing, y'all. You know he loves ashtrays. <laughs> no, but I just love the subject matter. I love Yeah, like, okay, so smoking kills. But here's an ashtray. Let's put medical stuff all over it. <laughs> right. So it has stethoscope and an injection and a microscope. It, like y'all y'all see it. Isn't that yeah. cool? It's very it's, interesting. It's the coolest thing. It says, uh, we couldn't find any comps. We couldn't find anything like no. it. It says Samuels on it. Don't know anything about it. I love the graphics on it, too. I just like this thing. I think it's really cool. Yeah. It's big, too. Yeah, it's a big tray. It's like a doctor's office ashtray. Have it out in the waiting, in the the, waiting room on the coffee table. This was like, this was $5, basically. They had 10 on it, and um, I asked if she would take 5 but that's after we bought a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. But it is part of the $100. Yeah. We paid. I don't know what. What would y'all do with this? I don't even know. Like, yeah, I mean, how do I get a value on something like that? We, I mean, trust me, we we even looked on Worth Point. Like, there's there's not. We couldn't find any out there, sold or active anything. You know. Yeah, it's weird, man. So uh, it's cool though. It's a good piece. All right, so this is a bag of vintage turtles, and we did not take them all out. Um, and. There's a bunch in there. There's a, t I mean, you can see in here and vehicles and stuff. Um, now, like there's some that may be missing parts. She said, she said some of them, uh, she said all everything like, like, should be she's, in the bag. She's thinking everything's in the bag, but she didn't sound super confident. I don't know. She said they were all together when we put them in the bag. I'm like, okay. Um, so yeah, that's what we have here and um, it'll be interesting to go through this and see if we have anything rare And we do understand um, that most turtle stuff uh, Is fairly inexpensive. Look, he's missing his top top yeah. of his head So hopefully it's in because you can see it just snaps in so right hopefully it's in there somewhere Yeah, we've got all kind of stuff in here. So we're just we're hoping we have some uh some some gems in here all it takes is one or two um because some of these can be very pricey uh the the good ones but even even if we don't have any gems in there if we end up having to lot them up and we end up getting like yeah six seven eight nine dollars a piece i don't i don't even like we haven't sold turtles in a long time right but i remember i want to say like last time i really listed any turtles was probably like five years ago and I was selling these things for like $9 a pop or something. Right. And I don't know what the market's done since then. And also, also, I don't even know for sure 
what exactly we have in here because all I've ever sold before was just like the figures. Right. And we have a lot of other accessories. Like, and look, vehicles. look at this. Yeah. Foot stinks, rock and roll, chill yeah. out, pizza time. This is a inner tube. Yeah. So yeah, we've got all kind of stuff in here. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what this comes up to. If y'all are um if y'all are knowledgeable about turtle stuff. Is there anything in particular that we should be on the lookout for that's like a grail piece yeah. that, that we might have in a random assortment? Now, they do have, and I've, I know dealing with turtles, oh, yeah. tur they always, they, they have that little bit of stickiness. I think that's know? very common, I think. Yeah. I, all the ones I've had in the past that I've dealt with, they pretty much all have Even that. the ones I, saw, I was telling you I sold like five years ago, they were the same way. Yeah. These aren't bad. The ones I felt in these... They're a little tacky, but they weren't bad. No, I, they're not. I felt some that, like, you put your finger on them. And it sticks. And it sticks, and it leaves, like, a fingerprint on them. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah, I'm going to have fun with this bag. And then, I don't even, I didn't even look at this. Is it all micro? Uh, yeah. It's just some kind of system called micro chargers. Little We've got bitty cars, huh? a bunch of truck. Yeah, look how small these cars oh, are, y'all. You can see in here. I think they just get launched somehow. So these uh, little cars, I believe, aren't powered, but I'm not sure about that. There's I, a launcher right here. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of launchers in here and a bunch of track. Yeah, there's a ton of track in there's here. There's a whole bunch of parts and stuff. Yeah. She said her kids played with it and she would buy up, you know, add-ons and stuff like that. When and, did uh, this come out? Do you know? I don't know. Yeah. But basically, um, to put a price on this stuff... It, everything here was a hundred, but this was five, this was eighty, and then the rest of the stuff totaled to fifteen. These things over here totaled yeah. to fifteen dollars. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I feel good about that that buy. I like it. I like it. It's some interesting stuff. It is, yeah. and we have a bunch more interesting stuff that we bought today. However, I think we are going to show that to y'all in a future video, probably the next video. Yeah, so. um, like, yeah, today is Friday. Um, we should have sales tomorrow. It was supposed to rain, but I just looked at the weather. It looks like it's kind of blowing north of us. So we may have some sales tomorrow. Yeah, we're trying to, we're trying to close the year out. Like, this is a time of year where, uh, the weather holds up. We have garage sales or once it turns, like, once we get that first really, really cold, cold, cold snap, then garage sales can kind of disappear for a month or two. Yeah. And then we, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm just telling y'all, like, that's kind of like how it works here. It's usually like, um, they, they end right before Christmas usually, and they start up again, like in, uh, late it, it like March, early March. Or it, it depends on this, like, it, sometimes if February is warmer than normal, sometimes, uh, mid to late February, they can start up. But usually we can count on January being dead. Yeah. Uh, back half of December and January is pretty much dead and then most of February usually and then the rest of the year we can usually source which which stinks because that's when we really have have in the past have had good sales like in January if, yeah I mean can you imagine if you had fresh merchandise coming in right Shoot. oh I know I yeah know. okay well that's gonna be it for this one thanks a bunch for watching if y'all uh, turtle experts uh, what are we supposed to look for? What is the grail? Uh, I know we should just go on eBay and go high to low, but like, what is there like a piece or two that we should be looking for out of there yep. that would really make our day? So uh, thanks a bunch for watching. We'll see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.